We had a marvelous, marvelous year until COVID hit us, but we were still able to stay connected with the kids. They all took their iPads home and their computers. Um, we have 85 kids return in person. The rest of them decided to stay home to do distance learning. Up until then, the kids were doing distance learning on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then on Wednesday, the kids came in with their families. So the teachers could help the parents work with the kids at home. The other concern was that we be able to help some of the parents get their GEDs. We felt that um, helping some of the parents, even to teach them how to read, it would continue to have a marvelous impact on the learning of their children. So in that regard, um, we're, very, we're very satisfied with the progress that has been made. The other concern was that Red Lake kids are very social. Um, relationships are important. And when you lock them up in their homes because they can't get out because they're afraid of getting a disease, um, you put a lot of stress. So we felt that as soon as we could get them together, that we did, because suicide's a problem at Red Lake. And we were very much concerned about the impact of COVID in the line of food shortage, um, electricity being cut off, things like that, which sometimes put people on the edge. Um, we were concerned about the kids. And so the COVID thing was an opportunity for us to do what uh, we're called to do, to um, help people, not just with education, but with food, with counseling, with building good relationships, and making sure that they know that we're there, that we care for them, and encouraging them to help each other. It was just another positive experience for Red Lake. We recognize, you know, the challenge at Red Lake is enormous. And you can talk about the 65% poverty, but 65% poverty, those are the faces of my kids. Um, and we realize we have got to make a difference because why? They need to make a difference. I keep reminding them, you can be the next tribal chairman. You can be the next director of the hospital. You can be the next social worker that continues to have an effect on kids like you. You can make a difference. But in order for them to make that difference, we have first got to make the difference. And that's our hope, to continue to put the kids in relationship to each other, relationship with adults as teachers, and to watch them blossom, to see their personalities grow, to see their eyes light up when they discover something new, from the very beginning of our arrival at St. Mary's 12 years ago, the struggle was to keep the school open. And through the years, the way people have responded um, with the grants, with the gifts, with the donations, the response is always unbelievable. We are just left speechless when we get the final number. And every penny is used to educate those kids. A school that was once being threatened to close, I don't think there's any closing in St. Mary's. I think the people that have supported us would be surprised that it's no longer you have to help us because we might close, but now it's help us, we're staying open and we're doing wonderful things. We invite you to not just donate, but to be part of that ministry to continue the marvelous things that we're able to do as the mission at Red Lake.